this is Kathy Maheshwari this side and I hope you all are doing well. So this video is regarding Tetralogy of Fellow. It is basically a continuation from my last video which included pathology part of the TOF. I have told about introduction, pathology and clinical features in that video. In this video, I'll be covering this from medicine perspective which includes diagnosis and management part. Okay. So the first diagnosis which we can make for TOF baby or TOF child is through physical examination or physical picture, clinical history. That is, what are the symptoms that would be present in the baby? The first symptom is cyanosis. Cyanosis is hypoxic conditions which lead to bluish colorance of the skin or bluish discoloration of the skin which we can see TED spells or we can say Fellot spells. These are hypersynotic episodes. That means hypersynosis that, that takes place in the baby's body after any exertion, feeding or crying, clubbing of fingers, that is hypertrophy of the nail bed, dyspnea, shortness of breath, low birth weight due to poor feeding and retarded growth due to poor oxygen. So these are the physical symptoms which we can see. Then ECG would, ECG would show right ventricular hypertrophy, digital clubbing can be seen, fingers and toes, drumstick clubbing would be seen of grade 4. So this type of clubbing would be seen in the babies and this is TED spell or we can say hypersynotic episodes which is seen. X-ray chest would show boot shaped heart because of large right ventricle with small pulmonary artery. This kind of shape can be seen. It appears to be like boot shape. Okay. Then ejection systolic murmur. We can auscultate this. Uh, ejection systolic murmur would be heard due to pulmonary plethora and pulmonary stenosis. When the blood from right ventricle goes to pulmonary artery, it gush into it with a thrill like sound, which can be heard during auscultation. It is heard at pulmonary valve area, that is second left intercostal space. Then the last is echocardiography, which can be done. It would show iota is not juxtaposed with interventricular septum. That means iota is not exactly opposite to interventricular septum because of overriding of iota, which is seen in this TOF. Okay. Now, what are the management or what would the treat, what would be the treatment which would we give to a TOF child? Total correction of the defect by surgery before five years. We'll wait for the baby to get old enough to get to be able enough to get load of the surgery. We'll wait till that age and then we'll do the correction surgery before the five years of age. Otherwise. If proper intervention or proper surgery would not take place, baby have high risk, high chances of dying. Okay, prognosis is good after surgery. Patient need to follow up after surgery to identify the residual pulmonary stenosis. After surgery also, baby need to get frequent checkups to see if there is no residual pulmonary stenosis or there is no ventricular septal defect reoccurring or any rhythm disorder. So he needs to follow up after that. Okay. Now what are the surgical intervention which we can take place or the surgeon can take place? First one is BT shunt, Blalock toxic shunt or it can also be called BTT shunt that is Blalock Thomas toxic shunt. It is a palliative procedure in young infants to increase blood supply to the lungs. It is a shunt which we apply between the branch of iota and pulmonary artery so that the iota, uh, I, uh, branch of iota or we can say subclavian artery can sub transfer its blood to pulmonary artery for deoxygenation before it gets circulated in the body to decrease cyanotic condition basically. Here we can see this is subclavian artery or subclavian branch of iota and this is pulmonary artery and this is what we say BT shunt, Blalock toxic shunt. So it is connecting these two so that 
a hypoxic condition can be prevented so that blood from this uh, subclavian artery can be transferred to pulmonary artery for reoxygenation okay so the second one is ventricular septal defect patch we can apply a patch to the defect so that mixing of blood won't take place here we can see this is the defect here the mixing of blood would taking was taking place along the defect and in surgery we have applied a patch we can say ventricular patch septal patch over this defect okay then the third is resection of hypertrophied rv muscles left ventricle was going into hypertrophy we have already studied this thing so we would what we would do we uh, surgeon would just scrape off the hypertrophied muscle he would scrape off he would resect he would remove the hypertrophied muscle so that the blood pressure of right ventricle could be decreased and mixing of blood could be prevented then the last is transannular patch which we can apply to the pulmonary artery here i have this uh, it is applied to the pulmonary valve area so that narrowing can be prevented in the pulmonary region it is basically uh, in this picture you might be thinking it is blocking this pulmonary artery but it is not that way it is superiorly present in pulmonary artery blood is going beneath this okay one more thing surgeons could do is applying a stent he can apply stent in pulmonary artery to prevent its narrowing or to prevent its stenosis now what are the medication we would recommend felot spells when severe can be treated medically by beta blockers and morphine to relax the right ventricle outflow tract or antibiotic prophylaxis can be given for endocarditis is also indicated or can be given in antibiotics we can give penicillin or other antibiotic drugs so this completes the diagnosis and management part i hope you would have understood it well so thank you so much for watching my, my video and if you want the picture of this note you can take it from my instagram page by the name caduceus underscore khyati and you can also follow my instagram page for other reels and other updates thank you